first stream. So let's talk about why we're here first today. Um, we are in Hallepool in the UK. Yep. You guys come over for, for the uh, press conference. Uh, what's this? What's this special place around here? So we see some, you know, heavy stuff, heavy guns. What does this actually mean to you guys? Well, first off, we had a great cooperation with uh, Joff Battery Museum that we're here today, and we also crowdfunded a special T-shirt for the support of a museum like this. Yes. And for us, it's very close related to our music, where you you can learn about history that is and. We find places like this to be very important, to remember what happened. Yes. So I, we couldn't find a better place for the release of our new album. All right. So the new album will be released tomorrow. Yep. Can you tell us more about this album, please? Oh, where do I start? I mean... Well, this, let's start with the name first. Yeah, The War to End All Wars. I mean, this is a follow-up to The Great War that we released a few years ago. Yes. Where we simply felt that we couldn't fit enough stories on the Great War. Yes. So when we released that, there were just too many stories that we found amazing in different ways mm -hmm. and very interesting. Mm -hmm. So the natural step to go from there was to, to do a sequel. And here are the stories that we've still found very important to put mm -hmm. on there. Mm -hmm. And to me, it's really Sabaton 2022, you know, and it's, it's one of those albums where you I'm personally a fan of albums where you can enjoy from start to finish. Yes. You don't need to necessarily pick songs out. Right. I think it's such a journey, this album, and I'm super happy about the dynamic in how it came to be. So there's 11 songs, if, I'm follow, if yep. I remember correctly, on the, on the album, and will be released tomorrow. Yep. Um, I know it's in <laughs> because of the war that's going on at the moment in Ukraine. Um, is there any, any message you'd like to share with us? I, I know it was not planned. No, of, co of course, we're as shocked as anybody. And it's, I think it's absolutely horrible. Yeah. It's terrible. And I mean, that's also why we decided not to, to uh, fire this gun. I mean, Chris was supposed to be the first non-British veteran to fire it. But yes. there's enough guns firing, so yes. we will stand down from doing that. Good. It's okay. absolute horror. Yes, it is. Without a doubt. Uh, we can only hope this will finish anytime soon. So because these innocent lives, you know, being lost every day and it's, it's very upsetting. Yeah, very. <clears throat> um, let's talk about something more positive. Um, you actually uh, keep help this site open for the public to raise, raise the money to keep this as a memorial for, for the other people so nothing happened again. But as you already mentioned before we start this interview, there's still people, some don't remember what actually happened. Yeah. And we still need to keep, you know, for the, for the next generation pushing and saying, look what happened, this is what can happen. Yeah. And we need to learn from this. As you said, you know, there's a still some people don't learn from it. Yeah. Um, um, you're supposed to guys go on a, on a tour from tomorrow, if I follow, if I understand correctly. What, where we are with this? Are you guys going on tour now, or? Uh, yeah, we the the next show we have have uh, is a Swedish tour. Right. That starts the fourth of April. All right. So we have thirty dates in uh, Sweden. Uh huh. More and it's more of a club tour. Uh huh. Okay. Which we've been looking forward to and talking about for so many years. Yes. And to me, playing shows like that is I I really enjoy it. And now after two years of yeah, having of a stupid pandemic yes. where nobody can play and go out and have fun. Yes. I think the I know this band is hungrier than ever to go out and play. Yes. And more ready than ever. And I think people in general, including myself, let's go, you know. <laughs> let's so th this is this is music. the first tour after the pandemic, if I yeah, we, we, correctly. Exactly, like our 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 first tour. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we did we did a month with Judas Priest in September in the US. Yes. On their fiftieth anniversary tour. Right. Fifty. 50, yes. Yeah. I heard that. Yeah, yeah ama <laughs> amazing. Uh, so that was our first proper tour after uh, yes. after the pandemic. Yes. But now we're going on our own tour. And after that, festivals, and then we fire up the machinery again. All right, cool. Yeah. And uh, what about the UK tour? Yeah. 
Well, the one who waits for something good. Yeah. That's as much as I can say about that. So is that... Uh, it's just good to be back here. And I mean, we did Wembley. That yep. was our last show here. In, okay, cool. In 2019. Yes. Which was, uh, for us, a huge, you know, milestone in our career. We yes. sold out Wembley. Wow. So <laughs> we, we, we have a lot of cool plans coming, so... Okay, brilliant. So, are you are you planning this UK tour, or is it postponed, or where we are at this at this UK tour now? Because you you're doing the Sweden, and then you're supposed to do the UK tour. No, it's, it's we do Sweden Swedish tour first, and then uh -huh. it's festival season. So then we all go right. out. We're okay. gonna go like this all over the place. All for, right. For a few months. Okay. Yeah. Um, the the probably obviously we're gonna support this new album. Yep. I assume so. You're gonna play some old songs, I assume. Yeah. Are you still gonna drag this big tank with you guys, or what's the, what's the show? Can you can you t give us some secrets? No. No. <laughs> I can't. More I, than uh. we've had plenty of time to work on this. All right. You know. <laughs> yes. And and um, I can't say too much, but I can say that when I walk around and see it, yeah, I'm a, like a kid in a candy store, and I'm I'm <laughs> so happy about it, and just just. That's kind of the part I enjoy the most. Yes. Thinking about live shows and how so we can. So you have time now to prepare. We yeah. are ready. We we yes, can go tomorrow. Ready to rock. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yep. So, um, is there anything else you like to add before I let you go? Thank you. Well, thank you for listening. I, I hope uh, you like the album. I'm super proud of it. The War to End All Wars out tomorrow. Yes. And I can't wait to hear what people think about it. Yes. And um, yeah, see you on the road. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate pleasure. it. My thank pleasure. you. Listening to Radio Bloodstream.